Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss with you the Battle of the Mascaras. So if you're interested in hearing all about the mascaras that I've been using, that I've been liking, that I've not been liking, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, you know, mascara, eyelashes, I always say that your eyes are sort of like the reflection of your soul, maybe? I don't know. I have extremely hooded eyes, and I've never had eyelashes. I mean, all my life, my eyelashes were just awfully little stubbly things. So it wasn't until I started to use eyelash serums that I was able to grow eyelashes. I have not ever worn false eyelashes other than when I was a teenager. I bought a set to wear to our Roaring Twenty event and I couldn't get them to stay on my eyes. So I just said, no, forget it. I'm gonna, just going to go with my lashes. So mascara is the first thing I put on when it comes to makeup. I do it completely different. After I've done my, you know, I've done my skincare, I've done all of that. I've gone under my red light therapy. I have my little routine in the morning. Then I sit down, have my cup of coffee, and I have my magnifying mirror, and I have my mascara. I usually wear a lash primer, and it's usually a very reasonable one that I get. Usually it's an Essence. Sometimes it's the L'Oreal. Sometimes I've had a high-end one, the Lancome, that I've wanted to work through. But I usually always do a, a primer on my lashes, and then I start with my mascara. In the last, gosh, I don't know how long I've been collecting these little samples, <laughs> but I keep talking about how I'm going to share it with you guys. I've gone through every mascara imaginable. You guys all know that my favorite mascara is my Lash Princess, the black and the purple. This is from Essence. Really cheap. My second favorite, and I haven't opened this one, is my Superhero from It. I buy this on QVC. You should get, uh, I don't know, like two for the price of one or something like that. Anyways, very affordable. On QVC, thank you to Mary Ellen after 60 who first turned me on to them to buying it on QVC. So these two have been truly my favorites. And then I discovered the Lancome. I've been wanting to try the Lancome. I know I'm going to say it wrong, the Hypnos Drama. I've been wanting to try it. I just refused to pay the money for it. But I got it in the Christmas package, the trunk case. I got it in there. So I said, all right. I was running low on mascara. I wasn't going to open another mascara. And I opened the Lancome up. And I fell in love with the Lancome. So for me, it's it, it's it's dried up right now. I, I love the bristle. I love the application. Even though I sit there and I do this first thing in the morning after I've done my skincare. I don't want to have an application process that I have to do 90 coats to have my eyelashes pop. This, I didn't have to do that. I just had to do a couple of coats just like these three, these two. My essence comes goes on thick. It can go on goopy if you're not careful. It comes on thick, as does my It's Superhero comes on thick to me and also can come on goopy if I'm not careful. This never came on goopy. It just came on perfect. It, and I know now I know why people will spend the money for it. You know, I really do. It came on perfect. It applied quickly. My lashes looked awesome. I love the whole application process. I thought it was really awesome. I love it. I love it. I just won't buy it. If my husband wants to buy me it for Christmas, that's fine. I won't buy it. I won't spend the money on a mascara. I go through, I go through too much mascara that I would want to buy and spend that money for one. So this is the Sigma mascara, another pricey mascara. I really like this mascara, but I did not like the wand. I, this was, I, I don't mind the curve. It was just too hard for me to get the product to come up. And stay on my eyes. This required too much of a buildup. Very nice mascara, lasted on my eyes. It never came out goopy. It didn't come clumpy on my eyes at all. 
So it, it lasted nice, but it was just too long of a buildup. So I, I, as much as I like Sigma products, I would not buy that again. I also tried, and some people love this. This is actually the when the you know when the when the name wears off and you really can't see the name on a mascara after a while. I think the brands are really failing, and this happens a lot. You can't really see the names. This is actually the L'Oreal. I never liked this one. I never did. I mean, to me, this just did not work out at all. If you liked it, that's great, but I thought it was wonky using two of them. Um, it didn't come on good. It didn't last good. This actually flaked on me after a while, and I don't mind L'Oreal products, but this one was a bust. I did not like it at all. The L'Oreal that I do like, and I have used this, this is the Hydro Fudge. This one is very dried out because this is old. I haven't bought it. I love the wand. I love the application. I loved how it lasted on me. I loved everything about this except for the buildup. It took me a lot longer to build up my lashes with this. So when a mascara comes out and you just have to keep dipping and dipping and dipping even when it's brand new, you really have to work to get the lashes. In my opinion, for me, I just didn't have the time. I didn't have the time or the patience. I'd rather be doing other things. So in a pinch, yeah, if I had forgotten all my mascara and I was in a drugstore and there was no essence available, this is the one I would buy from drugstore. However, I know that I have to work it. The other one, and, and this one was from Essence. As much as I like Essence, I could not stand this one. This is the extreme, I just never, this never did it for me. Big, clunky, really did not do anything for my eyes whatsoever. I didn't like the application process. It didn't give me long lashes. It didn't give me full looking lashes. It just, it wasn't any anything that I would care about at all. The other one, and this one I actually do like, but this is the Dr. Lily fan. This was a probiotic. This was sent to me in PR. I like the little tiny wand. I use this sometimes after I've done my mascara and I go in the bathroom and I clean up all my, my mascara smudges because I'm a slob when it comes to putting my mascara on in the morning. I take a Q-tip, a, a little bit of oil, a makeup remover, and I, and I wipe all the smudges off. And then I put my eyeshadow on and sometimes because I put my eyeshadow on after my mascara sometimes I have a little bit of eyeshadow on my lashes not a lot but a little bit and so then sometimes I'll, I have this in the bathroom there's still something in it I'll go over to coat my my lashes right at the very end again if I want this is a really nice mascara it does not build my lashes up whatsoever it covers them it's nice it lasted it doesn't clump i really really like it but to me it's a touch-up mascara not a base mascara if that if that makes sense the the other one that i have and this is a wonder beauty I, this might have been sent to me in a boxy charm might have been i never liked this one never I could never build my eyes up, my lashes up with this whatsoever. I would try, I would put coats on it. It just didn't, it never built up for me whatsoever. This was sent to me for review quite a while ago. This is YSL. This is the shock and this is a blue mascara. I really like this, but I am not going to be wearing a blue mascara. So sometimes, just like I use the Dr. Lily fan to touch up my, my lashes after I've applied my eyeshadows, sometimes I take this and I dip it and I just coat the outer edges of my lashes with the blue. It actually looks really nice. So when the sun hits it just right, you can just see a little bit of blue on my lashes. But my base lash, the volume, the length is coming from my black mascara. But the YSL mascara, the Shock, is really a beautiful, beautiful mascara. It's the color blue. It's a pretty blue. I like it a lot. I would definitely recommend it. It's a pricey mascara. And just like I'm not going to spend the money for the Lancome, 
I'm not going to spend the money to get this in black. Now, if I have an opportunity to, to pick one up in Octoly in the future, I certainly will because I like this a lot. So that brings me to my current mascaras. This is one that I've had this over and over again because I buy a lot of Ulta Beauty products and they have all these, you know, gifts if you buy $19, you get a little bag, and typically in the little bag, the little gift bag, is their mascara. I've never tried it. I have, I've given this away. I've never, never tried it. So I decided I was going to give this a try, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. The wand for me is a nice wand. It's a nice size wand. I've used this. It does not clump on my eyes, lashes at all. It's extremely affordable. Doesn't clump. It lasts. It doesn't flake off. At the end of the day, I don't look awful. Like some of my other mascaras, I have to work to build it up. Compared to my Essence that I don't have to work to build up, this one I did. My Essence, however, can get clumpy. When I say that, because it's, it's a gooey, goopier mascara, it's a wetter mascara, if that makes sense that sometimes when I'm using it, I can get clumps on my lashes. And I usually take a little bit, and I've done that, I mean, I've done that with a lot of mascaras. I take a little bit of a lash brush and sometimes I brush it through and I get rid of the clumps. This one never gives me the clumps, but it takes a lot more to build it up. So right now, these are the two that I'm using. Essence, I like better than this, um, than the Ultra one. But the Ultra one really surprised me. It actually lasted really well. It really did. Then I have my It's Superhero, which I'm not going to open. But I have another mascara that I received. Now, I've talked about the um, City Beauty products. I have their lipstick on right now. I, um, I use their eye cream. I love their new eye cream that they sent me. But anyways, this I'm not going to open it up because I don't want to open it up till I'm ready to use it. But this is their Beyond Mascara. I'm really looking forward to trying this. So I'll probably open this up when these two, or this one is gone. Because I don't mind having two open, but I don't have three or four open. But my next one that I'm going to open up is going to be the City Beauty one. Because I'm really curious to see the Beyond Mascara, how, how it holds up. I use a lot of City Beauty products. I actually use, many of you know, I use the Blink Eyelash Serum for my eyelashes, but every now and then, I'm, I'm using this about three times a week. And then off my on my off weeks, my off days, I've been using the City Lash. I haven't noticed any big difference using this compared to this. My eyelashes have been pretty consistent, so I haven't noticed any, you know, big growth or whatever. I mean, you your eyelashes go through cycles where you actually lose lashes and they fill in and stuff like that. But the City Lash, I coat this just like an eyeliner, you know, on the base of your, your eyes. And I believe this conditions my lashes really nice. The Blink, I think, is really contributed to most of my, my volume and my growth. But the City Lash, I think, keeps it just right. Keeps it right there. So, anyways, um, that's the battle of the mascaras. I have been wanting to do this for a while because I have so many mascaras that I've used and I've been putting them in my trash bag and I'm like, oh, I've got to empty this out. So I, I'm super glad that I uh, I did this. And on my head, in case you're thinking I'm in the same outfit I was in the previous video you saw, it's because I am filming these videos on the same day. Shh, don't tell anyone. I did change my earrings. But I have a wig, for those of you that like the wig talk. I have a wig, and probably by the time you see this, my wig review will have been published. I'm not too sure. But this is Noriko, and this is Dulce. This was sent to me courtesy of Wig Studio One for review. What do you think? Kind of cute, right? So this was sent to me for review. I will link the video where I did the review. This is a basic cap. There is no bells and whistles in this cap at all. It is a basic cap. There is no monofilament. There is no lace front. There is a lot of permatease in this wig. 
The cap, however, is like super, super comfortable. And I've seen this wig, this Dulce style, in, in some really pretty, pretty colors. So the Permatease is right up on the top. Some of you will love the Permatease. Some of you will not love Permatease. I like Permatease. This has Permatease. Now, to some people, this has a lot of Permatease. To me, it has the right amount of Permatease. You know, it, it makes it so that if, you, if if this didn't have permatees, this is the John Renault Kristen, it would probably just fall flat. I don't have one of those pretty back of my head, you know, when people have the pretty little bump that the hair stays up. I don't have that. I just, my, I got a weird back of my head. So without the permatees, sometimes you won't have the shape you want. So I'm going to try this on just so you guys can see it. And you can watch the full review. Again, this was sent to me from Wig Studio One. If you have not been on their Facebook page, they have a fantastic Facebook page. I don't even know how many thousands of people are on that page, but it is a support group for women and men that have hair issues, hair loss, issues with hair. So I think they do a fantastic job. And I'm thrilled with the opportunity to actually review some of their products, some of their wigs. So this is my third one. And all three of the ones that I have, I will have to tell you, I would not have bought on my own. Like this, I would buy, you know? I did buy this. Why would I buy this? I bought this. I actually bought this one. Um, with, you know, this was not sent to me for review, but I like this. So when I think of a wig that I'd buy, I would buy my Raquel Welch in a heartbeat. I have two Raquel Welches. I love those wigs. Uh, I would buy them again in a heartbeat. And there's a couple of other, my Henry Magoo, I'd buy in a heartbeat. But sometimes you have to stretch outside your comfort zone. So I'm going to put this on. You guys tell me what you think. I'll be right back. You like this? I, um, you know, like I said, I, it isn't necessarily a shade that I would buy on my own. But it's nice, I think, to stretch every now and then and try something completely different. And I think this is definitely something completely different for me. <laughs> I think it's cute. <laughs> Come a little closer so you can see the Parmatees. So someone that doesn't like Parmatees, and this is a basic cap, there's no lace front, there's no monofilament, so there's not a whole lot. I mean, you can loosen this up to make it so you can, you know, manipulate the permatease a little bit, but yeah, if you love permatease, this is yours. If you want to have a different look, you know, something I think itchy, something I think fun, this is yours. The back. Make sure my tag isn't hanging out. What do you think? You like this? What color do you think I look best in? What color wig would you like to see me wearing? Please don't say gray. I have had someone reach out to me and say, can I send you a gray wig? And I was like, depends on the wig. <laughs> I don't mind the color. I'm just not ready to go gray yet, even though I know it's probably going to be a matter of time. I'm just not ready for it yet. Nothing against all the ladies that are letting their natural hair show through and go gray. That's beautiful. You all look beautiful. It's just not me. Not ready. So, yeah, this is Dulce Noriko. And I think it's kind of cute. 